hi guys and welcome to Bimini. Now, I am currently at the Beach Club, which is a private resort that Virgin Voyagers visit when they cruise around the Caribbean. Now, before I came here today, I, to be honest, didn't really know what to expect. So in this video today, I want to give you a full tour of the resort so that you can get a bit of a flavour for if you're spending the day here on a Virgin Cruise, what can you expect? Now, if you do find this video useful, it would be amazing if you could jump down below and give it a thumbs up. And while you're there, if you want to join me on my journey this year as I show you more ships, hotels, resorts, you name it, I'm going to try and show you it <laughs> this year, then yeah, it'd be great if you can subscribe to the channel as well. But look, before I bring you in to this resort and walk you around, let's go way back to the ship this morning and talk about where this place actually is. You might be surprised to know that when you visit Bimini on your cruise, you're really not too far away from mainland USA at all. Visiting here means that you will be about 80 kilometers or 50 miles due east of the city of Miami. And you'll quite often find that your cruise ship will visit here on the first day of your cruise or the final day of your cruise as the ship heads down to or back from the Caribbean. Now you can visit the Beach Club at Bimini on a number of different cruise lines. My experience today is showing you what it's like when you visit on a Virgin ship. If you visit with any other cruise line, you just have to pay an entry fee, which we'll come back to shortly. Anyway, visiting here on a Virgin cruise means that you will be able to walk off the ship and you'll be directed straight to a number of trams that will be waiting to take you up to the resort. Now this whole area is owned by Resorts World, which is a huge international hotel chain. And I was amazed to find that actually you get off the ship nowhere near the resort. I really wouldn't advise trying to walk it. And if you are here with Virgin, then all of these shuttles are totally complimentary. So it doesn't make sense to try it in the heat. Now on the way to the resort, you will pass a number of pretty nice looking beaches but I would say where you're going is definitely worth the journey. On the way along, you'll pass a number of very well-known hotel chains before finally arriving at the Beach Club. Now, the Beach Club, although owned by Resorts World, was designed by Virgin Voyagers, so you will see really clear evidence all the way through the Beach Club of that Virgin charm. Now at the front door, you'll find this private event sign explaining that if you're not a Virgin Voyagers passenger, then today you're not able to enter because this is a private event only for those traveling on board Virgin. Now the first thing that you will find is the main house and that is essentially the building that you walk through to enter the beach club. And this is the view from out the back of the main house, looking down to that incredible coastline, which I'll take you down to just shortly. Before we get out there and explore the different parts of this beach club, here's a map. Feel free to pause the video to understand where we are today. The beach club is essentially made up of two large lagoon pools followed by a beach front. There's then a number of different facilities that I'm going to walk you around, including dining facilities, VIP facilities, and also various changing areas. What better place to start our tour today than down at the two lagoon pools? These two pools are very, very similar to each other. You'll find that one will be kept relatively quiet. There'll be a couple of games on the go, but the other, my goodness, look at this. The other is used for the primary pool party when you dock at Bimini on a Virgin cruise. None of these floats were brought by passengers on the ship. These are all supplied when you arrive at the beach club. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. The vibe in here really is brilliant. I had such a good time floating around this pool. If those pools look a little bit too busy for you, then do not worry, I have got your answer. Welcome to Belvedere Beach, and this is a separate part of the beach club back up towards the main house, away from those pools, where you can chill out in a little bit more of a secluded and much more shaded area. Now in here, you've got the option of sitting on deck chairs, you can sit at tables and chairs, you can also lie on sun loungers, or you can grab a seat by the bar. 
The bar was closed while my ship was in port, so I can't show you what that looked like when it was open. If you fancy a hammock, there are so many in here, and I know what you're thinking. Fraser, get up off that hammock and keep showing us around. Well, do not worry. This area here is directly outside Belvedere Beach, and this shows you just how separated you are in that area versus the main lagoon pools. You're really quite far back. Now, the final thing that I would mention before we move on to talk about dining is that I was really impressed with the volume of seating that was available at this beach club, despite the fact I was visiting with a cruise ship full of people. You can see here that if you wanted to go for a hammock, there were just so many available. You didn't have to rent a chair. Everything was totally included. And the only thing that you found yourself paying money for while you were at the beach club was drinks, which are just chargeable at the bar onto your room account. Moving on to look at dining. This is an area that I thought the beach club did particularly well, considering that they are bringing the majority of this food off of the cruise ship. It must be an absolute military operation to get this beach club set up and also to get it tidied away at the end of the day. Now you will find around the venue a number of these large serving areas and large dining areas. Here's the menu on the day that I was in port. Feel free to pause the video and have a proper read. You can also find this menu on paper if you were to go and sit down at a table. Now to show you what some of the food looked like, here's what I ordered here. I would say that the food at the beach club was very different to what you would get if you were on the ship. It certainly felt very fresh, I really enjoyed it, but to be honest I definitely missed my ability to get a burger and chips, to be really, really honest. Now at each dining area you'll also have a beverage hut. All of these drinks here were totally included and free of charge. As you know with a Virgin Cruise, soft drinks are always included and it was lovely to see that theme continuing even when you were ashore. You can see here what the dining areas are like, so you should be expecting picnic benches, you should be expecting to have your toes in the sand. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a number of these venues all around the club. This is another one, which when my ship was in, it was closed. It got me thinking, I wonder if in the future, Virgin will plan to dock multiple ships here at one time, who knows? Now you are not coming to the beach club to chill out just by the pool or to just go and eat. I am almost certain you'd like to see the beach. Well, here it is here. First of all, I'm going to show you the beach that everybody can access. You can see there are, again, a number of different seating options. You can go for the loungers down towards the water, some of which have umbrellas, or you can go for the day beds, which are slightly further back. I found the beach to be one of the busiest beaches I have ever seen in the Caribbean. You'll get a real feel for that when we go down to the water, but don't worry, I'm about to tell you how you can completely escape the crowds here at the beach club. One of the reasons why the beach club is so popular is because it's one of the safest ways to experience the Caribbean. Because this area is locked down to passengers, it feels much safer than your average Caribbean beach. These huge metal structures here are when Virgin sometimes, if you have a late call at Bimini, will have fire pits on the beach. I didn't, so I can only show you that during the day, but it must be absolutely beautiful. Anyway, let's get down to the front and let me show you what I meant by this is one of the busiest beaches I have seen. Look at how many people are in that water. The umbrellas were pretty far back, which did mean that when you were down on the shoreline, it wasn't claustrophobic. But when you were in the water, it definitely was more of a party beach and everyone was chatting, everyone was drinking together and everyone was just having a great time. However, if like me, you're not a huge fan of overly crowded beaches, then all you have to do is walk along to the other side of the beach. It's only a three or four minute walk and very quickly, you'll leave the crowds behind. If I pan this camera around now, you'll see exactly what I mean. Now on the left hand side, we've just left the crowds of the beach club and look at how quiet it is along here. 
yeah, okay, the beach club finishes, so you'll have to bring a towel or lie in the sand, but I think it's definitely worth it to get rid of the crowds. If you are thinking about getting changed, either when you arrive at the club or before you leave to head back to the ship, that's absolutely not a problem. You will find a number of lockers and you'll also find changing cabanas here, so do not worry. If you want somewhere to lock away one set of clothes, or if you just need somewhere to freshen up before you head back to your cruise ship. Now, if you are fortunate enough to be staying in a suite on board your cruise ship, you'll likely be welcomed here to the VIP area at the beach club. I wasn't able to access this area while there were passengers in for obvious reasons. However, that worked pretty well because I was able to then show you all the facilities looking great because there was nobody here. Now the first facility you've got is this huge indoor pavilion where you've got the bar in the centre. You've also got some large fans that keep the air circulating all during the day. And then outside on the terrace through the potted plants, you can look down towards the water. Let me show you the difference between the main beach and this beach. Over here, you can see there's slightly different, more comfortable furniture and it's much, much smaller. In here, you will find very minimal crowds. There's a very small number of people that are permitted into here each day in comparison to the main beach. So don't worry about struggling to get a chair if you are traveling as what Virgin call a rock star on board. Now, if you're like me, you're maybe thinking, oh my goodness, this looks so busy. How do I get it to look more like this? There's nobody in any of these photos. Well, my advice to you is either make sure you're first off of your cruise ship or like me, make sure you're on one of the final shuttles back. I absolutely loved walking around this place after everyone had already left. Speaking of leaving to head back to the ship, that's exactly what I had to do at the end of the day. The journey back takes exactly the same as the journey here, only five or 10 minutes, and you'll be back at the cruise dock ready to board. I really hope that you have found this video useful. If you have, then please think about liking it down below. And also, why not subscribe to the channel and let me take you on so many more ships. If you are booked to head to Bimini, have the best time and let me know down in the comments how you get on. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video today, did you know that you can become a member of my YouTube channel for an exclusive behind the scenes look at some of the ships that I'm traveling on? If you're over on Patreon, then I would love to see you over there. All you have to do to join me on that community is just search www.patreon.com forward slash Fraser at sea. Both my YouTube memberships and my Patreon site lead directly to me getting on more cruise ships and both offer a completely behind the scenes look at what's going on.